Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good day, Dr. Cohen. Hi, Valder. How are you? I'm having a fabulous life, and thank you so much for joining us. We're so excited to talk with you. I want my audience to know that Dr. Kat Cohen is one of the most sought-after independent university admission counselors in the world. So this is great advice for both parents and students. All right, it's time for those parents to pony up, Doctor. What do you got for them? (laughs) What should the parents be doing or what should the students be doing? (laughs) (laughs) Both. (laughs) Well, first of all, for students who are rising seniors right now, I would say start on your college applications. Do not wait. Um, If students are applying in in an early round, those applications are due usually November 1st or November 15th. But because they're about to go back to school, now's a great time the next few weeks before school starts to get a head start on those applications and make sure that they are following directions it's one of the biggest application mistakes that I see, and that they're telling admissions officers something they can't otherwise learn from the rest of their applications in their essay. So this is something they might be working on right now. And I think for parents, it's very important for them not to get too stuck on one school for their child. Uh, parents should certainly be supportive, be the cheerleader, but ultimately a student should have about 10 to 15 schools on their list reach schools, target schools, and safety schools, so a balanced list. And they should be disappointed if they don't get into any one of those schools. So parents should be supportive about all of those schools and know if the student has done his or her research that they would be successful and happy at any of those schools. One of the things I wonder about the application, uh, is there like, can you make mistakes on the applications and, you know, scratch it out and write over, or is it like (laughs) neatness counts? Well, the applications are generally online, so you can't scratch things out, and and luckily they're not going to be analyzing your handwriting or anything. (laughs) However, there's lots of mistakes that students make. Uh, One of them that I just mentioned, not following directions or not um, paying attention to word counts or character counts, and this is important because they're online, so if you're over your, your word or character count, you'll get cut off. If you're under, you might not be utilizing the space to explain as much as you could be explaining. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not being redundant. So let's say your personal statement is about uh, being on the soccer team and yet you're on your activity list. Soccer is number one on your activity list. And then let's say uh, a lot of colleges um, who are using what's called the common application have supplements. And on those supplements, they might ask, let's, let's say, what's your favorite activity? And then if you write about soccer again, okay, you're, you're just being redundant at this point. Tell us something we don't know about you. Um, another very important thing is to have someone proofread your applications. Colleges are going to be looking at your grammar. So if you're not using an independent uh, counseling service like Ivy Wise, then I would say go to your English teacher and have them look it over. Spell check will not catch um, your uh, black belt in marital arts uh, or things like that. So, And they're not going to catch, for example, if you're talking about how badly you want to attend NYU and you send that essay to Cornell, right? So you have to be careful about those things. Um, And just want to make sure that in your supplements, you are treating each school like it's your top choice. So another mistake that students make is they'll write a generic essay and they'll try to send it off to multiple schools as the, here's why I want to go to your school essay. And colleges will take note of that. They're looking for what's called informed interest. 
So uh, very important for the student to do the research on the school. And if they're talking about why they want to go to that specific school, mention specific professors, courses, resources, uh, research opportunities, and the like specific to that school. This is great advice. Okay, one more question. I'll take this one. They want to know, are there any online apps to help them with this process? With the application process? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, um, the, first of all, the, so most students are going to go to the common application, with, which they're going to be filling out. Um, it's accepted by um, uh, hundreds of schools. It's um, probably the first destination they'll go. If um, the school does not use the Common App, they're going to have to go to the school's website. Um, and then the Common Application will show which schools have supplements to fill out and what they need to do and when they need to do it. Um, coming to Ivy Wise, we actually have our own portal system where we, we keep track of what students need to do and when they need to do it by. I think it's very important for students to be reading the fine print on the applications about what's due and when, uh, making sure that they're releasing another site. Other sites they should go to are the testing websites because they're going to have to release their official test scores to the schools if the schools require standardized testing. All right, Dr. Kat Coyne. Dr. Coyne, is there a place online where my parents and my students can go and get more information? Yes, they can come to our site, ivywise.com. We push out a lot of free information there. I would say follow our blog, uh, our social media channels, um, because we're constantly filtering the information that's out, out there and giving you the best, most relevant, and most up-to-date information that students and parents need to know. Our guest today, Dr. Kat Cohen, talking to you parents and you students about college admission. Dr. Cohen, they say you are the best in the world, and I believe them. Thank you for being my <laughs> guest today. Thanks so much. Have a great day, Walter.